So let's run you over everything that I've here in this. There's a demon model with a collider. There's another demon with a collider too. And here's our player view model. In the animator, there's an idle animation uh, which loops over and over again. So on, now let's go on making the lower kills. So I've added a daemon script to both of these demons. Now, so this daemon script basically what it does is it's gonna store a bunch of values which we're gonna compare so that we can have different types of glory kills. First, let's create an enum. Let's call it daemon type, and this will have two values, which is, which would be a normal m, and there would be caco daemon, which is c a c o d e m o n. We just call it Kako. Now it's gonna store a daemon daemon type variable called type, which we have to identify while creating the daemon. And we don't really need this health value right now, so we'll just get rid of it. This is the glory kill script we wrote in the previous episode, so we're just gonna yeah, nice. If you've noticed while playing Doom, is that uh, your crosshair doesn't need to be in front of the demon. So now, instead of using a raycast, we're gonna use the angle between the demon and the and the forward axis of the camera. So what we're gonna do is, if the player, if the player presses the mouse button, so here zero just stands for the left mouse button. So now we're gonna compare the axis. For that, we'll need the information about the camera. We're gonna have a private demon array which will take care of all the demons. This won't be the most efficient way to do this, but it works in the end. So we're gonna we're gonna take all the objects that have the demon script on them and now we're gonna check the angle from the player to the demon and before checking the angle we're gonna check the distance as well we're gonna use a for loop so we can loop over all the demons So we're just uh, subtracting these positions and then we're going to take the squ uh, the square of the magnitude and then we're going to compare it to a variable called logical distance. So if it is less than the logical distance then we go on for checking the angle. Three that angle, isn't it? So we're gonna take the angle between these two again. This and main camera dot forward transform dot forward. Now it is less than. Let's just title this glory kill angle. It's less than the glory kill angle. Then we're gonna initiate the glory kill. Let's just debug something. And let's just uh, debug the angle as well so that it's. So currently that demon is 128 units away. So this is around the point where we want the glory kill. So 13 units would probably be fine. Yep, it's working. So now we're gonna play the animation. 
if the type of the so this has to be public this has to be public as well so if the type of the daemon is the normal imp one so we're gonna do daemon type dot imp if this is the type then we're gonna now we have to initiate the glory kill so we're just gonna play the animation now we need access to the animation to the animator component so now we're gonna anim we're gonna play the animation which is called im glory front I think variable anim hasn't been cleared whoops nice it plays so now after it plays I gotta like destroy the original model as well and I have to destroy the current demon So we're gonna go to both of these demon and assign the, this one as imp and this one as the kaka demon. So now, now we can glory kill this one, but not this one. Let's fine tune the values. I would say a value of 20 and 30 would be nice. So now we're gonna create one for the imp and uh, another animation to play when we kill it from the front and the back. If it's not an imp, then it's probably an kaka demon. So I'm using another if statement here because uh, you know, like uh, in the future, I may add more demons and it's gonna be complicated. Now if it's the kaka demon, um, we're gonna play the kaka demon front animation for now. Let's just add that and make it transition back to idle. So blob glory kill front. So now this should be working. So no matter where we kill from, it's gonna go. And we're gonna do the same here. Use the same logic as above. Let's just debug that first. So now it's at 40 degrees. This much is 90. This much is 90 as well. And behind it is greater than 100. So let's just try that. If it's less than 100, then we gotta play the front one, else the back one. So currently, it should be playing the forward animation, and it does. And now the back animation and does. Yep, that does it for today's episode.